I'd like to bring in correspondent Kelly Meyer, who was live outside of the Supreme Court in Washington. And Kelly, you've been listening to the arguments. What are you hearing? Yeah, what's happening there in Oregon, where Nancy Liu is, is making its way all the way here to the nation's highest court, where they are debating and just finished debating whether homelessness really should be considered a crime. And what they decide here could change the way cities and towns across America address the homelessness crisis, which is now reaching record levels, we're told. Now, at the core of this is a conversation over compassion and the civil rights of homeless people, but also keeping communities and cities safe across the country. Those heated arguments inside, as we said, going on for nearly three hours. The justices are hearing this case that stems from what's happening where Nancy Lou is there in Grant Pass, Oregon, where they outlawed sleeping and camping it with any kind of bedding in public spaces. The question before the justices is whether the laws there went too far, that they punished people for being homeless and violated the Eighth Amendment prohibition on cruel and unusual punishment. Homeless residents in the city say they are involuntarily homeless because there are not enough shelter beds. The city argues that the Eighth Amendment is being misunderstood. They say the slippery slope here is very real, adding that uh, the ruling in favor of the plaintiffs here could fuel homeless encampments across the country. Here's more from the conversation inside the court. Where do we put them if every city, every village, every town lacks compassion? and we, passes a law identical to this, where are they supposed to sleep? Are they supposed to kill themselves not sleeping? So this is a necessity defense, as I mentioned, under Oregon law is available. States are able to address these concerns. This is a complicated policy question. We believe that the Eighth Amendment analysis, to go back to it, focuses on the low What's level What's so complicated fine. about letting someone somewhere sleep with a blanket in the outside if they have nowhere to sleep. Is there a crime here for being homeless? No, there is not. Such a complicated and complex conversation there happening inside the Supreme Court. Now, while that was happening, there were protests happening here outside that just wrapped up. But there were folks here that have been uh, fighting uh, for those homeless people and trying to make sure that they have shelters, saying that they feel as though this case is taking several steps backwards. Nicole. All right. And Kelly, you mentioned uh, Washington, D.C. and New York have the highest concentration of homelessness. What is the difference between homelessness and unsheltered homelessness? Yeah, and it's a great question. We've been looking into the data that we've been getting from the Department of um, Housing and Urban Development, basically saying that this is now reaching record highs in 2023 of those experiencing homelessness and those that are unsheltered. So there are the people that are living on the streets and those that are inside these shelters. Uh, Washington, D.C., here in our nation's capital, has one of the highest rates of homelessness, uh, nearly 5,000 people experiencing homelessness. But there are states with the highest rate of homelessness who are unsheltered specifically, and Oregon there ranks at number two. Nicole. Yeah, we see those numbers there on the screen. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.